Welcome to the first episode of the Railfan's Guide. In each of these videos we'll be explaining a concept that is important to a railfan. That might include operations in a certain location, how a certain supply chain works, good locations to see trains, or more technical aspects of railway operations such as signals, train numbers and radios. Whether you're new to rail fanning, a seasoned veteran of standing next to the rails, or you've just accidentally stumbled across this video, we hope we can share knowledge with you in your ongoing or maybe newfound appreciation of railways. For our first episode, we'll be taking a look at freight operations in and around Brisbane. Brisbane is the capital city of Queensland, boasting a population quickly nearing 3 million people. The size of Brisbane has resulted in an expansive network of passenger rail operations, covering suburban services within Brisbane, inter-urban services north, south and west, and longer distance services operated by Queensland Rail Travel. However, Brisbane also sees a broad variety of freight traffic covering a range of commodities, train styles and operators. Today we're going to give you a rail fans guide to where you can see freight in Brisbane, where it has come from and where it is going. Brisbane is home to a range of freight terminals that accept a variety of different types of freight from throughout Queensland as well as from interstate destinations. The Port of Brisbane, located at Fisherman Islands, is the largest port in Queensland and sees rail traffic covering containers, coal and grain. A dedicated rail line runs to the port which branches from the Cleveland Line east of Lindham at Lytton Junction. The port line is primarily single track, increasing to dual track closer to the port. The port line supports both narrow gauge and standard gauge operations, which we'll be covering in detail. The port itself provides an extensive yard and a balloon loop for turning trains, with dedicated unloading facilities for containers, coal and grain. The port is a security controlled area, so some caution is required if you want to take footage of trains within the port itself. The port line south of Fisherman Islands provides a few locations which are a much better idea if you want to do some rail fanning. Coal and grain is exported through the Port of Brisbane from a variety of locations in southwestern Queensland using various narrow gauge trains. Horizon is the only operator of coal traffic, transporting coal from mines to the port using 2300 and 2700 class diesel locomotives operating in pairs. Horizon currently services coal mines at Canby Downs, just east of Miles, and Ackland between Dolby and Toowoomba, with multiple trains a day from both mines. Loaded trains travel east from mine to port, while empty trains return from the port to reload. Wilkie Creek Coal Mine has previously exported coal by rail through a loader at McAllister, however operations have again ceased after a brief restart during 2023. Grain operations are seasonal and commence from various locations beyond Toowoomba, with both Horizon and Watco operating grain trains. Similar to coal operations, Horizon utilises 2300 class and 2700 class locomotive power in pairs. Watco, a recent arrival in the Queensland rail scene, has taken over some grain operations from Horizon. They have acquired a fleet of new overseas built along with second-hand locomotives formerly operated by Horizon and other international operators. Loaded coal and grain trains arrive in Toowoomba from a range of locations. In a later episode, we'll be covering all the details of southwestern operations, so keep an eye out for that. Once in Toowoomba, all trains travel along QR's main line descending the Great Dividing Range and passing through the Lockyer Valley towns of Helladon, Gatton and Laley before arriving at Rosewood, where they enter the suburban electrified network. The Ipswich Rosewood line comprises dual track operation to Darra and then widens to four tracks, including a dedicated unelectrified freight line before expanding to seven tracks at Corinda. Once at Corinda, trains diverge through Tennyson to arrive at Yurong Pili on the Beanley Gold Coast Line. 
the Tennyson Cross Country Line is formed by two tracks. Tennyson was once serviced by a train station with peak hour suburban services and made a great spot to catch a range of freight traffic, although suburban services ceased in 2011 and the station was subsequently closed. You can still see parts of the station either side of the tracks today, and the locality is still a great place to see trains with a range of bridges still providing spotting locations. At Yorong Pili, coal and grain trains proceed north along the Beanley line through Yoronga, Fairfield and Dutton Park. Whilst freight trains traditionally use the third road, which is dual gauge, you can also see freight on other lines. At Dutton Park, freight trains commonly use the flyer of the crossing to access the Cleveland line. From here, trains head eastbound, also commonly using the third road between Buranda and Lindum. After Lindum, trains access the Fisherman Islands branch to get to the port. At the port, the balloon loop at the northern end of the yard is used to turn trains prior to unloading. Once trains have unloaded, they follow the same route in reverse as an empty train to return to a mine or grain loader to reload and then return to the port. The port also plays a major part in containerised freight operations, which are the most diverse offering in the Brisbane area in terms of locations, gauges and operators. The bulk of containerised freight in the suburban area comes from destinations on the north coast line, including Cairns, Innisfail, Townsville, Marinda, Mackay and Rockhampton. Container freight also comes from the CQ Inland Port, located at Yamala on the central line, which joins the north coast line at Rockhampton. Pacific National and Lynn Fox both operate regular trains to North Coast locations, which all originate or conclude at locations in Brisbane. Lynn Fox services are hauled by Horizon under a hook and pull contract established after the sale of Horizon's narrow gauge container business to Lynn Fox in 2019. Pacific National traditionally operates a single PN class locomotive, while Horizon traditionally supplies a single 2800 class locomotive for services. Pacific National also operates occasional trip trains to transfer freight between Mullaban and Acacia Ridge. Container freight from the North Coast Line arrives in the interurban area from the north at Gympie North. From here, freight trains follow the Sunshine Coast Line, having to meet and pass various other services including interurban services to Nambour and Gympie North, long distance passenger trains and other freight services. The North Coast Line is single track with various passing loops until Beer Barn, meaning crosses are common in this area. This section provides a wide variety of photographic locations with some scenic hinterland and cropping areas. Once at Beer Barn, freight services use dual trackage through to Petrie, triple track south of Petrie to Northgate and then quad track into Maine. As freight services proceed further south, they encounter more suburban traffic including Caboolture services, Redcliffe services from Petrie, Shawcliffe services from Northgate and Doombin and Airport services from Eagle Junction. Various stations and other locations in the suburban area provide locations to see North Coast freight operations, which commonly follow express suburban services through the quad track area on the up and down main, which are platforms 3 and 4 between Northgate and Main. Once at Main, freight services divert around the city centre using the exhibition loop, accessed from the north at Main Yard just to the north of Bowen Hill Station. The exhibition line doesn't currently have regular suburban services, although with the completion of Cross River Rail, exhibition station will see regular passenger traffic. Current suburban use of the exhibition line is limited to out-of-service units accessing Main, units running to Roma Street to start northbound services, or trains accessing the car wash at Normanby Yards. The exhibition line takes freight services to the west of Roma Street Station. Depending on the time of day and any relevant track closures, freight services either proceed through the junction west of Roma Street and then across the Merivale Bridge toward South Brisbane or westward toward Milton. 
Freight services from the north coast are headed for one of three destinations in Brisbane. The Port of Brisbane, east of the city, Moolabin Yard at Tennyson, or Acacia Ridge. The Port of Brisbane and Acacia Ridge see Arise and Hauled Linfox services, while Moolabin is operated by Pacific National. Both routes through the southern suburbs can be used to access each location. Trains running via South Brisbane head to Dutton Park to access the port, using the same route along the Cleveland line as coal and grain trains. Yurong Pilly to access Moolabin using the Tennyson line, or Salisbury to access Acacia Ridge via the dedicated track south. Trains running via Milton head west and south as far as Sherwood before turning east down the Tennyson line. Moolabin bound PN services can then access this yard directly, while the other services head to Yurong Pilly, where Acacia Ridge services head south, while port bound services head north to access the Cleveland line at Dutton Park. Northbound container trains commencing at one of the three terminals follow the same routes in reverse to commence their journey up the North Coast Line to Gympie and beyond. Brisbane isn't only home to narrow gauge freight operations. The interstate line running south of Brisbane to Sydney and other destinations sees a regular flow of container and steel trains. Pacific National is the dominant operator for standard gauge trains, however SCT also operates services from its dedicated facility at Bromelton. Cube has also recently picked up some steel train operations and Horizon has recently commenced container operations. All standard gauge trains, other than the SCT services, proceed into Brisbane from the south through Greenbank and Algesta before arriving at Acacia Ridge. Acacia Ridge is the largest freight railway yard in Brisbane and provides for the interchanging of freight between narrow and standard gauge trains, loading and unloading of freight to and from trucks, and servicing of nearby industries with dedicated rail services. Most standard gauge services operate out of Acacia Ridge, including servicing the adjoining Blue Scope facility with steel. Some services, however, venture further into the suburban area. Cube currently operates a local train from Acacia Ridge to the Predella sidings at Salisbury, so named after the developer of the industrial estate. These sidings currently service the Orcon Steel Factory and require shunting across Railway Parade and Fairley Terrace on an uncontrolled crossing. The sidings are also uniquely standard gauge only track. Horizon has also recently commenced container train service to the Port of Brisbane, using the dual gauge line between Salisbury and Fisherman Islands. The service parallels both the Beanley Gold Coast line and the Cleveland line, and must use the third road in these locations, as this is the only standard gauge line. These services represent a return to standard gauge trains operating to the port, which hasn't occurred for many years, despite the track having been constructed in the 1990s. Brisbane also sees seasonal narrow gauge cattle trains, now operated by Watco. Watco uses similar motive power to their grain operations, along with the support of the WRE class. These locomotives are combined with KOJX class cattle wagons acquired from Horizon and refurbished by Watco. Cattle trains arrive in Brisbane from both the west through Ipswich and the north through Gympie and service abattoirs at Dinmore on the Ipswich line and Homeview on the Bean Lee line. The Tennyson line is commonly used by trains bound for Homeview. The Brisbane Suburban Network is subject to frequent track closures, particularly on weekends and late at night, for maintenance works to be carried out. Whilst buses replace passenger trains to keep operations going while tracks are closed, freight operations can't do this. Instead, freight is either cancelled for the closure or diverted. Diversions often mean different locations see freight trains. In the centre of the city, when works are completed on the exhibition line, freight can be diverted through the inner city lines between Roma Street and Bowen Hills, which is an experience to see a full-blown freight train through the inner city tunnels either side of Central Station. More recently, 
Frequent closures of parts of the suburban network between Corinda and Dutton Park that are used for coal and grain operations have seen these trains continue north at Corinda through Sherwood to arrive at Milton. From here, trains then traverse the exhibition loop before proceeding through the inner city southbound via Central before crossing the river on the Merivale Bridge to arrive at Park Road and then rejoin their traditional route to the port. Whilst this is a rather convoluted diversion, it means that trains can continue to operate while track closures occur. As part of the lengthy closures of the network for Cross River Rail at the end of 2023 and the start of 2024, a temporary container facility was built on the Pinkenbar line, east of Doombin, for container trains to use while the inner city network was closed. This was a unique situation where North Coast trains traversed a generally suburban setting of the Doombin line. Locomotives were stored at Banyo on the Shorncliffe line to be attached in the rear of each train so they could run in a push-pull arrangement. Whilst this was a one-off closure, there is the potential it could occur again, particularly as part of another major construction project. The temporary pad established for loading and unloading remains in place east of Sugar Mill Road. Over the years, Brisbane has seen a range of other freight commodities, including one-off operations for construction projects, such as the carrying of pipes, along with the movement of fruit and oil. There is potential in the future for new industries or one-off movements to be required. Operators and locomotive classes have also changed over time, with narrow gauge operations previously being more dominated by Clyde type locomotives until the 2800 class became more readily available outside resource traffic and operators diversified. Prior to the arrival of Pacific National into Queensland in 2005, QR was the only operator of rail freight in the state. Interstate operations have also previously seen interrail services that required and improved by Horizon before being ceased in 2019 after a failed sale to Pacific National. Brisbane Freight is a diverse and interesting area of rail fanning, providing a mix of commodities, locations, operators and gauges. The accessibility of the network in the suburban area provides a range of locations where trains can be seen, including stations, level crossings and overpasses. You can also helpfully go rail fanning using public transport. As previously mentioned, Cross River Rail will improve opportunities to see freight operations through year-round access to Exhibition Station. With the gradual development of inland rail, freight operations around Brisbane will likely change. The exact changes will ultimately depend on the final alignment of inland rail into Brisbane. However, it is likely that existing Brisbane to Melbourne and Brisbane to Adelaide freight services that currently arrive on the standard gauge line from Sydney will instead approach Sydney from the west through Toowoomba. Depending on the outcomes of a feasibility study into extending inland rail to Gladstone, this project could also impact on North Coast operations between Brisbane and Gladstone. The Queensland Government also has long-term plans for a new intermodal terminal north of Caboolture, intended to relieve pressure on the suburban network from North Coast Line container services. This would likely mean that some services from the north would not enter Brisbane and instead terminate at the new terminal, reducing freight traffic in the suburbs. We hope you've enjoyed our first Railfans Guide and learnt a thing or two about freight operations in Brisbane. If you found this video helpful, why not give us a like or a comment? And if you want to see the next episode in the series as soon as it's released, why not subscribe?